जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाध शिवासादी गौर भक्त वृंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाध शिवासादी गौर भक्त वृंद हे कृष्णा करुणा सिंधु दीन बांधो जगत पते गोपेश गोपी कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तु ते तप्त कंचन गौरंगी राधे सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि ते नारायण नमस्कृत नरम से नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीर गुरु श्री राधे गोलोकानंद भगवान की जय श्रीमद भागवतम की जय जय कृष्णा प्रवीण जी नाइस टू सी यू आई एम आल्सो वेरी मच ग्लैड सर हरे कृष्णा वे कृष्णा आफ्टर लॉन्ग टाइम यस सर एक्चुअली आई वाज बिजी विद सम रिलीजियस जर्नी ऑफ द प्लेसेस इन दिस पुरुषोत्तम मास राइट 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 मल्लिकार्जुन महाकालेश्वर ओंकारेश्वर क्या बात हाँ नागेश्वर अच्छा अच्छा तो छह ज्योतिर्लिंग हो गए आपके हाँ सर भगवत कृपा है आप लोगों का आशीर्वाद ऊपर वाले की कृपा से ही हो सकता है सर वेरी नाइस एंड इट्स आल्सो अधिक मास तो वो भी श्रावण महीने का अधिक मास हो गया तो इसके लिए थोड़ा दैट इज़ सो नाइस वेरी नाइस सो प्रवीण जी आए आप अनिल जी से मिले हैं क्या पहले नहीं हम नहीं मिले हरे कृष्ण प्रभु जी हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण जी तो प्रवीण जी विदेश की धरती पे है हमारा सौभाग्य है कभी कभी जब भी रहता है तो आप लोगों के दर्शन होते हैं नहीं जी भी बहुत पहुंचे मतलब प्रिंसिपल इन द स्कूल्स इंग्लिश सिखाते हैं एंड देन ही सो प्रयास प्रयास से है राइट प्रवीण जी हाँ प्रयागराज से है तो हमारे अजय साहब भी प्रयाग से है अजय जो है दूसरे हाँ 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 अजय जी प्रयाग से हाँ तो ये भी काफी रिलीजियस है प्रवीण जी के साथ वृंदावन में एक बार रहे थे हम लोग एक दिन हाँ, तो नाइस हाँ, <laughs> दुबे जी के साथ दुबे जी के साथ इट वाज प्रीटी गुड सो सो नाइस टू सी यू जी विल स्टार्ट मुझे बड़ी खुशी हाँ सर शुरुआत किया जाए तो हम लोग रीडिंग टेंट ऑफ फिफ्थ फिफ्थ बुक पढ़ रहे हैं अध्याय श्लोक तो जैसे लास्ट फ्यू चैप्टर्स में ब्रह्मांड की रचना कैसे हुई वो प्रश्न परीक्षित महाराज पूछते हैं सुखदेव गोस्वामी जी को एंड सुखदेव गोस्वामी जी एक्सप्लेनिंग दैट हाउ दिस होल वर्ल्ड इज क्रिएटेड राइट हाउ जम्बू द्वीप इज क्रिएटेड हाउ इज मेरू पर्वत इज स्टैंडिंग अप एंड हाउ दो ऑफ लैंड कैसे Top most devotees of Lord Vishnu are praying to Lord Vishnu in different avatars, right? Pralad Maharaj praying to Lord Narsing Bhagwan, uh, <clears throat> and uh, so like that in all the nine tracks, uh, how Vishnu is to the Lord Vishnu is to the is going on, and then he described what is surrounding Jambu Dweep, right? So then he surrounding all these different places, and then up to the Dhruv Lok, up to the Prithvi Lok, and all that, right? So currently, what we are reading. Is what Subhadra Goswami is describing something about the Loka Lok, yeah, and you know how we saw like everywhere quantitative measurements have been given, like how far what is, how much is the distance, right? How much is the circle, 
conference. Everything is given already in Srimad Bhagavad. Yeah. So it's very nice. So Kalamu Padrake last Wednesday <clears throat> that by the supreme will of Krishna, the mountain known as Lokalo has been installed as the outer border of the three worlds. Bhurlok, Bhurlok, and Swarlo, right? As we do Gayatri Mantoram, Bhur, Bhuya, Swar. That's like three lok. That's where Gayatri Devi is uh, traversing, right? And those three worlds, and outer border of those three worlds, there is a mountain called Loka Lok. Yeah? To control the rays of the sun throughout the universe. All the luminaries from the sun up to Dhru Lok distribute their rays throughout the three worlds, but only within the boundary formed by this mountain. Because it is extremely high, extending even higher than true low, it cloaks the rays of the luminaries, which therefore can never extend your day. Yeah? And all this is by the supreme will of Lord Sri Krishna. And says Parit Ishwaren Vito. So we'll Start reading from Shlok 38. So, Anilja? Yeah. Eta man la loka vinyaso, man laksola sansta vir vichantitaha, kabivi sa tu pancha shat koti ganitasya, bhogo lasya turi bhago em, loka loka chala. Learned scholars who are free from mistakes, illusions, and propensities to cheat have thus described the planetary systems and their particular symptoms, measurements, and locations. With great deliberation, they have established the truth that the distance between Sumeru and the mountain, known as Loka Lok, is one fourth of the diameter of the universe, or in other words, 125 million yojans, one billion miles. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So see how amazing it is. Everything is given. Yeah. The distance between the Sumeru and the Loka Lok mountain, which is on the outskirts of all three logs, is one fourth of the diameter of the entire universe. What is one fourth is one billion miles. So the entire universe diameter is four billion miles. Yeah. And again, a nice purpose. So let's read this. Actually, um, Basically, it says that Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur has given accurate astronomical information about the location of Loka Lok Mountain, the movements of the sun globe, and the distance between the sun and the circumference of the universe. However, the technical terms used in the astronomical calculations given by the Jyotir Ved are difficult to translate into English. Therefore, to satisfy the reader, we may include the exact Sanskrit statement given by Sri Navishana Chakravati Thakur, which records exact calculations regarding universal affairs. Right? So the reason we read this purpose is because this is written in Sanskrit, but it has given exact calculations regarding the universal affairs. Yeah, isn't that amazing? So we'll continue reading the next slow. Uh, Praminji. Yeah, Hare Krishna Prabhuji. <clears throat> तद परिष्टाच सृष्टवा शाश्वत में योनिना अखिल जगत रुणाधि निवेशिता ये दिरे द्विरेद पतय त्रिशभ्य पुष्कर चूडो वामनो पराजित इति सकल लोक इस्तिते इस्तिति हेतवह on the top of Loka Lok mountain are the four Gajpatis, the best of elephants, which were established in the four directions by Lord Brahma, the supreme spiritual master of the entire universe. The names of those elephants are Rishabh, Puskara, uh, Puskara, Pud. Vamana and Aparajita. They are responsible for maintaining the planetary systems of the universe. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So what is being mentioned? So Loka Lok Mountain, which is in the outskirts of all the three, three Lok, right? Three, Bhur, Bhuvar, Swahar, Akash, right? 
and then Lokalok mountain on the top of the mountain, there are four Gajpatis, yeah, and their names are given, and then those four Gajpatis are responsible for maintaining the planetary system of the universe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so the planetary systems of the universe are also being maintained by those four uh, Gajpatis. Yeah. <clears throat> भगवान परम महापुरुषो महा विभूति परंति परंति नंतमनो विशुद्ध सत्वम धर्म ज्ञान वैराग्य महासिद्धि विश्व विश्व के स्वपार्षद प्रवरय परिवार तो निज वरायु धूप वरायु धूपिशो भर्ति नेज भुज दंडय संधार गिरिवरे समंत सत्कल लोक लोक लोकस्त व्यस्त आस्ते द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड इज अ मास्टर ऑफ ऑल ट्रांसडेंटल ऑपुलेंसेस एंड मास्टर ऑफ द स्पिरिचुअल स्काई ही इज द सुप्रीम पर्सन भगवान द सुपर सोल ऑफ एवरीवन the demi gods led by indra the king of heaven are entrusted with seeing to the affairs of material world to benefit all living beings in all the varied planets and to increase the power of those elephants and of the demi gods the lord manifests himself on top of mountains in a spiritual body uncontaminated by the modes of material nature surrounded by his personal expansions and assistance like wish Vishwaksena, he exhibits all his perfect opulences such as religion and knowledge, and his mystic powers such as anima, lagima, and mahima. He is beautifully situated, and he is decorated by the different weapons in his four hands. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So then, what is being mentioned here is the supreme personality of Godhead, right, Lord Sri Krishna. Who is the master of all transcendental opulences? Yeah, of course, master of the spiritual sky. Yeah, manifests himself on top of that mountain. Which mountain? What's the name of the mountain we are reading? Loka Lok. Loka Lok mountain, right? That's what we are reading about. And, and then, of course, he's surrounded by all his personal assistants and then Asta Siddhi powers he has. It's, when it says here, Bhagwan Param Mahapurusho, it says here, Mahavibhuti, yeah, Mahavibhuti Pati, and he is Antaryami Yatman, he is Vishuddha Sattva. So even though he manifests himself there, he is Vishuddha Sattva, like he is not impacted by the material universe, even though he creates this universe. He is Dharma, Jnana, Viragya, Shriyadrishta, Mahasiddhi, yeah, so all that is mentioned. Uh, कल्प मेवम वेशम गत एश भगवान आत्म योग मायया विरचित विविध लोकत यात्रा गोपी या ये त्यर्था The various forms of the supreme personality of Godhead such as Narayan and Vishnu are beautifully decorated with different weapons. The Lord exhibits those forms to maintain all the varied planets created by his personal potency, Yoga Maya. Hare Krishna. Hare, Hare Krishna. Krishna. Yeah. So, of course, as we know, Lord Vishnu, you know, how beautifully he is decorated with different weapons in four different hands, right? Chakra, Gada, right? Uh, mm. and, and then all the varied planets are created by his personal potency. Yog Maya. Yeah, he says here Bhagwan Atma Yog Maya is what is being mentioned. Yeah. 
हरे कृष्णा करो हरे कृष्णा सॉरी लेट हो गया कोई गेस्ट आए थे इन भगवत गीता फोर पॉइंट सिक्स लॉर्ड कृष्ण से संभव्य ममी आत्मा माया या आई अपियर बाय माई इंटरनल पोटेंसी द वर्ड आत्मा माया रेफर्स टू द लॉर्ड पर्सनल पोटेंसी योग माया आफ्टर क्रिएटिंग बोथ द मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड एंड स्पिरिचुअल वर्ल्ड थ्रो योग माया द सुप्रीम पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड पर्सनली मेंटेन्स दैम बाय एक्सपैंडिंग हिमसेल्फ इन डिफरेंट कैटेगरीज as the vishnu murtis and the demigods he maintains the material creation from beginning to end and he personally maintains the spiritual world hare krishna hare krishna kevin ji ha to yo antar vistarit ya lok parimanam cha vyakhyatam एरिया विद इन माउंटेन इन अदर वर्ड्स 125 billion oceans 1 billion miles beyond alokvars is the destination of those who aspire for liberation from the material world it is beyond the jurisdiction of the material modes of nature and therefore it is completely pure lord krishna took arjuna through this place to bring back the sons of brahmana हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण क्या सो इसे विशुद्ध शुद्ध मुदाहरणती राइट इट सेज दैट इवन द डिस्टेंस इज गिवन राइट वन बिलियन माइल्स सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी सो द सर्कल ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्स इज अराउंड लाइक फोर बिलियन माइल्स राइट एंड एन विद इन द माउंटेन द लोका लोक माउंटेन क्या एंड सो एज वी नो लोका लोक माउंटेन इज सिचुएटेड आउटसाइड भूर भूर स्वैर या दो थ्री लोक एंड लोका लोक माउंटेन इज आउट साइड ऑफ दैट फोर गजपति इज ऑन टॉप ऑफ लोका लोक माउंटेन्स एंड इट सेज यर दैट आउट साइड लोका लोक माउंटेन द ट्रेक टू ऑफ लैंड विच इज नॉन एज अलोकावर्स या इज ऑल्सो इन द एक्सटेंस इन द सेम सिमिलर एरिया राइट वन बिलियन माइल्स विथ and then beyond that beyond that 1 billion miles is where people who aspire for liberation for the material world right so they they gets to that world right by of course the meditation and the bhakti yoga of supreme personality of godhead and he says here lord krishna took arjun through this place to bring back the sons of the brahmana so this is what sukhdev goswami is telling to parikshit maharaj अंड मध्य गूर्यो ध्यावाभुमौर्यदंतर सूर्यांड गोलरिया मध्य कोटे शिवपंच विश्यंती द सन इज सिचुएटेड वर्टिकली इन द मिडल ऑफ द यूनिवर्स इन द एरिया बिटवीन घूरलोक एंड घुअरलोक विच इज कॉल्ड अंतरिक्ष आउटर स्पेस द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन द सन and the circumference of the universe is 25 koti yojans which is around 2 billion miles yeah suryand golaya madhe and you know even the distance is given like all the quantitative measurements are given and very sun situated between bhur lok and bhur lok bhur lok yeah <clears throat> and you know, it says here the word koti means 10 million and the yojan is 8 miles so one yojan is equivalent to 8 miles the diameter of the universe is 50 koti yojans which means 4 billion miles yeah as we saw that in the last shloka also right the diameter of the universe is 4 billion miles therefore since the sun is in the middle of the universe the distance between the sun and the edge of the universe 
is calculated to be 25 crore regions, which is 2 billion miles, right? Because in the middle, 4 billion, it's in the middle, so 2 billion. Okay. Yes. Uh, Rikishna, the sun god is also known as Viraja, the total material body for all living entities because he entered this dull age egg of the universe at the time of creation. He is also called Marthanda. He is also known as Hiranyagarbha because he received his material body from Hiranyagarbha, Lord Brahma. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, if we can see what is being described in this shlok is Surya Dev. Yeah. And Surya Dev, it says, also known as Martand, right? He's also known as Hiranya Garbha. Uh, Hiranya Garbha because he got his material body from Hiranya Garbha, who is the, who is Lord Brahma, right? He got his material body from Lord Brahma himself. Yeah. So, <clears throat> in a nice purple, let's read this, Ajay. Ajay, unmute. Should the I post read? Of Lord, the post of Lord Brahma is meant for very highly elevated, spiritually advanced living beings. When such living beings are unavailable, Lord Vishnu, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, expands himself as Lord Brahma. This takes place very rarely. Consequently, there are two kinds of Brahmas. Sometimes Brahma is an ordinary living entity, and other time Brahma is a Supreme Personality of Godhead. The Brahma is spoken of here is an ordinary living being here. Whether Brahma is the Supreme Personality of Godhead or an ordinary living being, he is known as Varag, Varaj Brahma and Hiranya Garbha Brahma. Therefore, the sun god is also accepted as Varaj Brahma. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <coughs> so, like, if you really see this Lord Brahma, right, is also an elevated uh, thing, like with the peers activities and by elevation in the meditation and everything, someone can be Lord Brahma, right? And we know like how different universes, different uh, Lord Brahma's age is also defined, right? How a Lord Brahma comes into each different time of manifestation. So sometimes somebody is elevated to the Lord Brahma's position. Otherwise, what is being mentioned is also Lord Vishnu himself manifests as, a, as Lord Brahma. Yeah. But the power and everything of Lord Brahma remains the same. Surya ne hi vibhya jayante disha kham dvyar mahi bida sarvagya pa pavagro narka raso kansi cha sarvashaha O king, the sun god and the sun planet divide all the directions of the universe. It is only because of the presence of the sun that we can understand what the sky, the higher planets, this world and the lower planets are. It is also only because of the sun that we can understand which places are for material enjoyment, which are for liberation, which are hellish and subterranean. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. That's yeah, very important. What is mentioned? Because of Surya, right? Because of Surya Dev, we know how everything is Vibhajante and where is Swarg, where is Narak, right? All those things can be understood because of existence of the sun god. Mavi? Yes. 
देवर्थित मनुष्यणा सरी स्रप विरुधाम सर्व जीव निखायाना सूर्य आत्मा त्रगीश्वर ऑल लिविंग एंटिटीज इंक्लूड डेमी गॉड्स ह्यूमन बींग एनिमल बर्ड्स इंसेक्ट रेप्टाइल्स क्रीपर्स एंड ट्रीज डिपेंड ऑपॉन द हीट एंड लाइट गिवन बाय द सन गॉड फ्रॉम द सन प्लेनेट फर्दर मोर इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द सन्स प्रेजेंस दैट ऑल लिविंग एंटिटीज कैन सी एंड देयर फोर ही इज कॉल्ड ड्रग ईश्वरा द पर्सनैलिटी ऑफ गॉड हैड प्रेजिडिंग ओवर साइट हरे कृष्ण Hare Krishna. Yeah. So as we know, right, uh, the day for the eyes is Surya Dev, right. So he is also called as Drigishwara. Because of him, everyone can actually see, uh, right. And he is also, of course, Sarva Jivani ka naam Surya Atma. Uh, so because of the sun's presence, we all living entity can actually see. And with the like eight point four million species, uh, depends on the heat from the Heat and light from the sun goes. Yeah, again a nice purpose. So let's read this, uh, Pravinji. Hare Krishna, Pravinji. In this regard, Sri Vishw Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur says, "Suri Atma 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 Nevasya, the actual life." and soul of all living entities within this universe is the sun he is therefore upas worshipable we worship sun god by chanting the gayatri mantra om bhur bhuvasva tasvitur varanam bhargo deva sudhi mahi surya is the life of soul of this universe and there are innumerable universes for which the sun god is the life is the life and soul just as the supreme personality of godhead is the life and soul of the entire creation we have information that viraj hiranagarbha entered the great dull material globe called sun this indicates that the theory held by so called scientists that no one lives there is wrong bhagavad gita Also says that Krishna first instructed Bhagavad Gita to the sun god, yeah, Imarth, uh, Vivaswate, Yogarth, Proktavan, Aham, Avag, Aham, Avayam. Therefore, the sun is not vacant; it is inhabited by living entities, and the uh, Predominating deity is Vairaj, the uh, the uh, Vivaswan. The difference between the sun and earth is that the sun is a fiery planet, but everyone there has a suitable body and can live there without difficulty. Hare Krishna, Prabhu Ji. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So that's about Surya Dev, and as we can see, uh, of course, naturally that. If you read in Shrimad Bhagavata, Surya Dev entered this whole egg-shaped universe, and so Surya Dev is, of course, maintaining the whole is the sun, right? And uh, <clears throat> with the Gayatri Mantra, we do Pashna of Surya Dev as well, right? So this ends the Bhakti Vedanta purpose of the fifth canto, twentieth chapter of the Shrimad Bhagavata, entitled. Studying the structure of the universe. Very interesting. So, about Shrima Bhagavatam ki. Yeah. So, and actually, the next chapter, which is the twenty-first chapter, twenty-one, is the movements of the sun. So, we are really going to read about the sun and the sun's movements, already described in Shrima Bhagavatam. Right. Very, very amazing. So, let's continue reading. Uh, we started the text to one. Uh, Anil, Sri Shuko Vacha Eta Vane Bhuvale Asya Sunni Veshaha Kraman Lakshanato Vyakyataha Sukadev Gosami said, My dear king, I have thus far described the diameter of the universe. 
50 crores of eugens or 4 billion miles and its general characteristics according to the estimations of learned scholars. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So the diameter of the universe is, is, is how big? 4 billion miles, yeah? Diameter of the universe. I think you can easily yeah. remember this. <laughs> how big is the universe? That's 4 billion miles. Yeah, it's already given. Uh, and this Sukhdev Goswami is telling this to whom? Who is the Maharaj. It's Parikshit Maharaj, right? So Parikshit Maharaj is asking about this Brahma and about this universe, how this is running. And that's what Sukhdev Goswami is describing right now. And in this chapter, we are going to read more about the Surya Dev. Oh. Okay. Eten Hidivo Mandal Mandal Manam Tradid Upadishanti Yatha Dvid Dvid Leonish Pavadinam Te Antari Antarinam Antarinam Traksham Tadu Tadu Bhaya Santitam. As a grain of wheat is divided into two parts, and one can estimate the size of upper part by knowing that of the lower, so, ex so expert geographers instruct one can understand the measurements of the upper part of the universe by knowing those of the lower part. The sky between the earthly sphere and heavenly sphere is called antariksh or outer space. It adjoins the top of the sphere of earth and the bottoms bottom of that of heaven. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, yeah. So sky is between the earthly antriksh and then heavenly antriksh, right? That's two. That's where the sky is in between. And uh, and of course, the top of the earth sphere is then uh, through the sky joined by the bottom of the heaven. Yeah. Is what is mentioned. Kavinji? Prabhuji. <coughs> Yan Madhagato Bhagwan Stapastata Pratapastita Tripan Atapin Tridokim Prapatya Mbhasayat Mabhasa Sesh Udgana Dakshinan Vaishwat Sangya Girman Deshay Saman Bhirgati Viro Bhira Rohana Aurohana Samanas Thanes Yathasavan Mabhi Paddemano Makaradishu Rashis Hotratrani Dirhas Samanani Vidhate. In the midst of that region of outer space, Antariksh is the most opulent sun, the king of all the planets that emanate heats such as the moon by the influence of its radiation the sun heats the universe the, uh, and maintains its proper order it also gives light to help all living entities see while uh, passing towards the north towards the south or through the equator in accordance with the order of the supreme personality of godhead it is said to move slowly, swiftly, or moderately according to its movements in rising above, going beneath, or passing through the equator, and correspondingly coming in touch with the various signs of zodiac, headed by Makar, Capricorn. Days and nights are short, long are equal to one another. Hare Krishna Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Nice purport, uh, Lord Brahma prays in his Brahma Samhita 5.552. Yet Chakshur Isha Savita Sakala Grahanam Raja Samstha Sura Murthir Asesa Tejaha Yasya Jagnaya Brahmati 
समृता कला चक्रो गोविंदम अति पुरुषम तम अहम भजमणि आई वर्शिप गोविंदा द प्री मेवल लॉर्ड द सुप्रीम पर्सनालिटी ऑफ गॉड हेड अंडर हुज कंट्रोल इवन द सन व्हिच इज कंसीडर्ड टू बी द आई ऑफ द लॉर्ड रोटेट्स विद इन द फिक्स्ड ऑर्बिट ऑफ इटरनल टाइम द सन इज द किंग ऑफ ऑल प्लैनेटरी सिस्टम्स एंड हैज अनलिमिटेड पोटेंशियल इन हीट एंड लाइट Although the sun is described as Bhagwan, the most powerful, and although it is actually the most powerful planet within the universe, it nevertheless has to carry out the order of Govinda Krishna. The sun god cannot deviate even an inch from the orbit des- des- designated to him. Therefore, in every sphere of life, the supreme order of the supreme personality of Godhead is carried out. The entire material nature carries out his orders. However. we foolishly see the activities of material nature without understanding the supreme order and supreme person behind them as confirmed in bhagavad gita maya daksha sena sena prakriti material nature carries out the orders of the lord and thus everything is maintained in an orderly way hare krishna hare krishna yeah so as we can see surya dev and of course we know yeah it's it doesn't deviate even an inch from the orbit designated to him yeah and that's through the carrying out the order of lord sri krishna and that's what is lord brahma is praying to lord govinda yeah govindam adi purusham tamam bhajami is uh, praising to lord govind and he is telling how he maintains the uh, uh, <clears throat> controls the sun surya dev yeah षु पच्चसु यशिचु चरति सदा हे वर्धनते हसती चासी मेखा Ghatika Ratri Shu. When when the sun passes through Mesa, Arid, and Tula, Libra, the duration of the day and night are equal. When it passes through five signs headed by Rasubha, Tarun, Taru, Taru, Taras, the duration of the days increases until cancer and then it gradually decreases by half an hour each month until day and night again become equal in libra hare krishna hare krishna yeah, so in shrimad bhagavatam see how it is described right how the surya dev passes through different rashis and we know that what all rashis we have right kark makar tula right and of course aries libra so and depending on which sign it's passing the day and night lengths are uh, either increases or decreases so that's what sukhdev goswami ji is describing this to parikshit maharaj when he is reciting shrimad bhagavatam so we are going to pause here and again there in this chapter there lot more about the surya dev right in quantitative measurements in scientific terms everything is given how surya dev is functioning which is very very uh, interesting yeah So I'm going to pause here, and since we are reading about Surya Dev, we will, uh, uh, you know, we'll uh, hear the version of Surya Dev. Um, so let's do that. So next three days we'll hear about Surya Dev. भजन्स Om Surya Dev Hari Om Surya Dev Hari 
So, nice Surya Dev Bhajan, and we are going to read about Surya Dev. And if you remember, you saw, did you see how many horses are there on Surya Dev? Remember, we saw so many pictures of Surya Dev and Sarthi and the horses, right? Like, let me show you again one, one second. You see that? Show six. Actually, it's seven. You don't see one more horse there, actually. In fact, if we... Right. Seven. Yeah. So, seven horses and a sarthi. So, in the upcoming shloks, uh, all the names of the horses and sarthi and everything is described. Yeah. And how Surya, uh, Surya Dev takes the uh, rotates the orbit and all that. So, very interesting reading. So, <laughs> okay, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, good night and good day. Yes, See you tomorrow Krishna. at 10 p.m. EST, 7 30 India time. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna, everyone. Good night. Good night.